What is up, baseball fans? Chris Jardine here, a.k.a. Snaggle J, Associate Community Manager for Out of the Park Baseball, back with another episode of our Brewers franchise. As always, if you missed any of the previous episodes of the Brewers franchise, head over to youtube.com slash OTP Developments. They are in one handy-dandy, convenient playlist for your viewing pleasure. Tonight's stream. We're going to be continuing the 2020 season, as you can see, way over on the right-hand side of the screen there. We are currently sitting at 35 and 31, three games back of the Cincinnati Reds in the National League Central, half game back in the wild card. So we have some work to do uh, as we head into the dog days of summer here. It's June. 14th last stream we kicked off the season uh we did the draft we did some other things tonight we're going to get through the trade deal and we're going to try to get most of the rest of the regular season uh under our belts um, as always a double header here of action monday nights at otp developments twitch page uh i will be streaming right now you're looking at my face live on twitch.tv slash otp developments uh and TJ will be here in one hour's time with the continuation of his Angels franchise. I believe he is in the 2020 slash 2021 offseason. Scott Penn's fan. What's up, man? I am well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Appreciate it. Thank you for your hope. You didn't really ask. You just hoped. I am well. Hope you're doing well. All right, let's jump in. Take a look at the state of our roster at the moment. Pitching staff looking pretty good. Chris Sale. Uh, has been terrible. Our starting rotation has just been pathetic. Uh, it's not good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have 13 pitchers right now. Josh Hader. Josh Hader right now has just been amazing. Um, he's our stopper. I like stopper role. Uh, we're looking good there. How's our lineups looking? Uh, we really, really need some of our injured players to get back and get healthy. Uh, because, man... Man, oh man, our roster is looking pathetic right now. It's just really, 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 really bad. We got Lars Nupar batting a solid 077 at first base. That's not going to get it done. Why aren't we playing Jonathan VR? Because he's been terrible. Makes perfect sense. Boys, we need we need to get some of our look at all our injured players. Vic is out, Dansby's out, Jacob Burns, Akira Miyagi's out, Yelich is out, Corey Ray is out. Everybody's hurt. It's unacceptable. So many hurt people. There's no way, no way, we're gonna be able to overcome this deficit with the roster in the current state. Of disrepair that it's in. As good as Bryce Harper is. He's not that good. And now we just had Austin Riley hurt for five weeks. Like. Come on. Come on. This is not good. Cody Medeiros is 24 and still doing nothing. Kyle Crowell. Is it Crowell time? Dude's hitting 400. So he hit 230. It was only in 238. He, he, double A, though. He's hitting 400 in 16 at-bats with Biloxi. The Shuckers. Chris Voogd. He's down there doing pretty well in the PCL. Weston Wilson. Crowell is what, 22 now? You know what? Let's do it. I have no idea how we're going to make a lineup work. Phillips. Probably get VR in there. We'll keep Crowell. On the bench, though that's probably a good play. We don't want him to get we don't want him to get you know beat around. 
See how things go. I'm sure someone will get hurt momentarily. Hope you guys. You guys had a great weekend. It's Monday. Which can sometimes be a bit of a daunting day, but you get to the end of the day and then you get to spend it with me and TJ. And I mean, that just has to brighten brighten your day and set you up for the rest of the week. I'm not going to lie. All right. 40 and 37. So, I mean, we're hanging right around that three, four games under 500 realm. I really don't have anybody coming back soon. Dansby's only out for another week. I'm sure he'll suffer a monumental setback, as he already has. Bryce Harper has 18 home runs. Garrett Hampson hitting 197 in the leadoff spot. That's mint right now. That's what we need. That is what we need. Crowell, in 10 at-bats, has a bomb. That a boy. Keeping up that good work. That good, good work. Garrett Hampson was diagnosed with a fractured rib. He'll be out three weeks. Ugh. Who do we have left to bring up? The answer is no one. But now, Crowell's going to get to play. He's going to get to play every day. We're going to get to see what the Rook can do. See how good Kyle Crowell really is in the crunch. End of the month scouting report. Mm, Oh, no, international free agents. International free agency period. Let's go. Let's have a gander, shall we? So the biggest guy there is Arturo Rivera with 80 potential power. A 16-year-old from Cuba. He's got really high-level power potential. First base, third base, left field. OSA has him as a much better contact hitter. I love the consistency of the of the guys here. It's not good. You know what? We got we got to make a splash. Our minor leagues are not that great. Our minor leagues are not that great. So let's make a splash. See what we can do. Like, look at our roster. Our roster is just decimated right now. It's so bad. So many people are hurt. Like, we just, we, like, this could not have gone any worse. Yeah, we got to do a lot better. Oh, stop. Managers complaining about Eric Sogard still. Still complaining about Eric Sogard. We traded him away like two years ago. I mean... I mean, well, we we could we could offer him a little bit more. We got we have we got some money. We've got some money. We can offer him a bit of cash. Phil Bickford, out for six days. We got a lot of guys in the bullpen. That's fine. That's not anything to get worked up about. Just sit him out there, let him chill. Personal message again. Compensation picks received. No, no compensation picks.
We get no compensation for sixth rounders, obviously. Chris Sale, day to day. But recovery is expected to take two weeks. <sighs> Man. Just so good thing it's around the All Star break. Uh, let's go here. Kimbrel and Jorge Alfaro get traded. Blue Jays signed Craig Kim or trade Craig, Craig Kimbrel back to the Atlanta Braves, where it all began. For Mr. Kimbrel, forty-two and forty-two. I mean, this team being at 500 with the injuries that we've had. Dansby, he's back. Yay. How's Kyle Crowell doing at short? Come on. 273 homer, three RBIs. We got to send him back down, though. We, we, can't, um, we can't keep him. As much as I'd like to keep him, we're not going to. It's a bad idea. Get Dan Zbanius back in there. All right. Dan's going to go to the leadoff spot, which obviously is a perfect fit. We'll see. Personal message again. What does he want? What what does he want? Three point nine million. Is he that good? That's our final offer. We're, I'm not going any further than that. He's probably he's probably a bum. Maybe not. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream here on the Twitch page. Make sure if you're not already following, hit that follow button up at the top of the screen. We stream two hours of Out of the Park Baseball each and every Monday night here on the channel. We also stream some Franchise Hockey Manager on Wednesdays, although they've been a bit erratic with the playoff schedule. Um, Josh Hader leads our team in strikeouts. That's a problem. Can I just say that? He also is second on the team in war. We just got to hang around. We just got to hang around. Okay. We just got to hang around. Justin Turner. They want Josh Hader, who has a .97 ERA and 106 strikeouts in 65 innings. For Justin Turner, who's hitting .222, and Ronnie Brito. Mm, yeah, no, 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 thanks. Thanks, but no thanks. Brew crew. What's going on, Peregrine? How you doing? Hashtag brew crew. That's right. That's where it's at. I mean, we're not doing real well right now. Injuries decimating us. It's a problem. It's really a problem. All right. What do we got? Trade proposal. Justin Turner and Juan Hymas. They're really pushing the Justin Turner. That's not really what we're looking for. <laughs> Go Caps! That's what I'm talking about. Blues fan. My guy. Saying so you look like we're just awful. Orlando Arce has been really good. Harper's been real good. Josh Hader, unbelievable. Miyagi out for the season. Yelich back next week. Corey Ray's out for another five weeks. I mean, we're we're starting to get healthy. If we can hang around, if we can hang around again. I just 
you know, like we're in the middle of July. Let's go another week. Let's get to like the 20th. I ran a Brave team to a World Series by 2020 in one game. Didn't seem realistic until this year. Yeah, exactly. No. Who the heck? Who the heck is Derwin Barreto and how did we get him? Where did we get this guy? Where did we, we get this guy from? Signed him as an international free agent with the Texas Rangers. Promoted. Signed a one-year contract with the Burlington Royals. We signed him. Just shrewd signings. Okay. How's he doing? He's hitting 371 in A ball. Damn, son. Okay. Can live with that. Derwin Barreto. So I'm definitely not trading you. Get out of here, Dodgers. Stupid trade. You know what? Justin Turner, not interested. How about that? Huh? Huh? You want to be like that? That's how it's going to be. I don't want your... I don't want your Justin Turner. Don't want him. Nope. Oh, no. Chris Sale, forearm strain right now is unclear. Unclear. Oh, my God, Chris Sale. Well, let's see. What can we do? Uh, I mean... Has he pitched? Like, if we go put him on the DL, would it be retroactive? Retroactive to June 5th. July 5th. It's July 14th. So if we put him on the 10-day, he could come off. We could put him on the 10-day. Today, like, the All-Star break is next week? Let's put him on the 10-day. Okay. Seems like a good idea. Bring Luis Ortiz back up. Again, seems like a good idea at this point. Chris Sale can rest, skip his start, rest through the All Star break, come back, pitch hurt, and probably suffer Tommy John. Okay? Cool. Let's do it. Sounds like sounds like sounds like a foolproof plan, chat. You guys know. My plans are always top notch, foolproof. As always, guys, make sure you guys check us out all around the internet. If you're on Twitter, give us a follow. Twitter.com slash OTB baseball. YouTube.com. Slash OTP developments where we post all the archives of all of our streams and other things like trailers and cool stuff. We got some cool stuff coming up, guaranteed. Uh, and if you're on Facebook, give us a like, facebook.com slash OTP baseball. Garrett Hampson, no longer heard. That's good. Garrett Hampson, back. How's Dansby doing? 283 so far? Not bad. 353 on base percentage. I see you, Dansby. I see you. Got any, got any, Orlando Arcia. Wins the voting for second base. Congratulations, Orlando. Stud. How many All-Stars is that going to be for him now? Oh, that's his first. Damn, not bad for a guy who had 34 home runs last year. Or two years ago. No, last year. I guess 16 this year. Mm. Bryce Harper. Kristen Yelich has not played a game in like... Four weeks. 
Tommy Lastella. He's been crushing it. Hitting 322. He hit uh, 14 homers and 66 RBIs last year. Not bad for second base. Uh, so Bryce Harper is going to start in right field. That's not that surprising. Uh, he It'll be his one, two, I don't know, seventh All-Star appearance. He has 23 home runs, 53 RBIs so far. More walks than Ks. Uh, taking a bit of a dip in the old uh, batting average. Last year, he was the National League leader in on-base slugging, which meant he obviously led in OPS. Uh, let's see what else we got here. Anybody else? And Josh Hader. Going to make it as a reliever. 2-0, seven saves. Listen, you want guys want to hear... Nice, we got Harper. Good move. Only 23 mil. Exactly. We got him cheap. He had a down year. Uh, down year before he went into free agency. So before we got him, um, his last year he hit 250 with 25 homers and 70 RBIs. Down year, lots of Ks. Got him cheap. And uh, he hit 317, 33 homers. But he got hurt in August uh, and missed the rest of the season. Which really screwed us over. Uh, anyway, Josh Hader. 2-0. and Seven saves. 106 ERA. 52 games pitched. 67 and two-third innings. Only 30 hits allowed. Eight earned runs. 36 walks. 108 strikeouts. So ratio-wise, that's a .98 whip. Uh, and 14.4 strikeouts per nine innings. And a 227 BIP, BABIP. And an ERA plus of 425, which is insane. All right. So let's finish. We're probably going to get someone hurt here. Yelich. How's Sale doing? Sale still hurt. Come on, Sale. Yeah, exactly. Rotation. Hater, hater, hater. We're just going to have to commissioner mode, hack the game. Hater time all the time. All right. We've got to send somebody down. Lars Newbar, you're rotten. Okay? I'm sorry. But you're not playing very well. So we're going to use Eric Thames at for uh, roster. No, DL. Boop. There we go. How's Luis Ortiz doing since we called him up? Damn, hasn't given up a run yet. Okay, good. See, Chris Sale, you got to get better. Chris Sale, you got to get better. Back to 100% in about seven weeks. Gripes. So, yeah, so there you see Josh Hader makes the all star team. Orlando Arcia makes the all star team. Bryce Harper makes the all star team. So, we end up with three all stars, which is good. I like having all stars. Guys getting recognized, who especially guys who are getting recognized who deserve it. Austin Riley has stuffed Mike Trout. Even though the NL wins, Mike Trout wins the MVP. What do you do? He was two for two, two RBIs. Must have hit a jack. Did he hit a jack? I doubled and homered. Uh, let's see. Harper was 0 for 3 with a K. Not a boy. Orlando Arcia was 0 for 3. Solid, solid hitting performances from the Brewers All-Stars. Josh Hader pitched an inning, struck out the side on 15 pitches. Madison Bumgarner got the save. Go extras? No. Bumgarner gets the save. Gotta love that. That's what you like to see. All right. So let's get through. Where are we in the calendar? Let's get to Monday and take it. Let's 
Take we'll take stock. We'll take let's take stock of where we're at. Let's let's do a little bit of self reflection. Austin Riley eligible to come off the DL. Okay. Hey, Chris Sale. Not hurt anymore. Excellent. Right. And Austin Riley not hurt anymore. So that's good. All right, guys, we're getting healthy. We're slowly but surely getting healthy. So let's see who we're getting rid of for starters. Uh, Corban, three and six, five ninety nine. Zach Davies, seven seven six or four seventy seven. Ramon Marquez has been pretty good. Luis Ortiz has been lights out, and Perdomo uh, has been pretty good too. Patrick Corbin, odd man out. Sorry, Patrick Corbin. Does I'm willing to at least entertain the possibility of trading you. I mean, I'd like to keep you as depth, but you've been good to us. We signed you cheap. Let's see if we can move you to a team that might actually use you. Like I, like I feel bad. What is Patrick Corbin making? Four mil. He's unhappy. I get it. You're unhappy. I'm unhappy with your performance. It's been atrocious. Wow. Those are some big contracts. Tim Anderson, are those minor league stats? Yes, Manny Tomas. I mean, for those kind of prices and players, I mean, we just keep him. He's a free agent at the end of the year. We got Lucas Sims, too, who's been pitching really well. Um, so, I mean, Corbin, we can't send him down, right? Well, all right. All right. You want to be like that? I get it. It's fine. Um, Newt Bear back in AAA, sucking. All right. So, right now we have 25 players. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We already have. We already have too many arms on the team like already we're over over armed um i mean who are we send down here bickford okay and then we have to get rid of a starter somehow i mean i don't want to send luis ortiz down he's been too good so really if patrick corbin like i mean we just at this point The oh. only thing is, right, I don't really want to take on any of these salaries. And the lower price guys, Yaziel Sierra, not really interesting to me. Tim Anderson is owed $4 million. It is a good problem to have, but the thing is, like I said, in our situation where we have a bunch of, you know, we tried to... Because we didn't have a very good um, surfeit of pitching prospects, we tried to trade. Uh, we didn't try to trade, but we signed guys like Corbin to a two-year deal, $8 million, you know, eat innings. And he pitched well, but then when you get into a situation where he's the odd man out, you really have nothing to do with him. Like, that's the thing. Where does he go? Oh, why? And like, given that the given these guys that are there, like, see, we have a pretty solid, you know, group of of prospects now. I mean, you look at some of these guys we have. You know, we've got some guys that are up and coming relatively quickly. Um, you know, Crowell again has been has been pretty good. He's been pretty consistent everywhere he's gone. Um, so that's going to give us issues because we have Dansby. You know, Derwin Barreto, 
Guy's hitting 375 in a, it's only a ball, but kid's only 19. Uh, Jamison Hanna, who we recently, uh, you know, came into his service. He's got high potential. Um, so I mean, we, we've got lots. We're, we've done a good job building our bullpen, or not our bullpen, our, our uh, prospect levels. All right. So let's assume for now we're going to keep Patrick Corman. Actually, you know what? Let's let's just you know what you know what let's just get let's just get rid of him. Okay, let's do it. Uh, disabled lists. So Chris Sale is back. Austin Riley is back. Okay. So right now, so we have Davies Marquez Ortiz Sims. That's Van Brands. Okay, Austin Aries. We have, still have no first baseman as Vic Caratini still hurt. Uh, and Corey Ray. Um, you need to give Bretto a nickname of who's that guy or where the hell did he come from? Yeah. Exactly. So, I mean, now if we go in here. So now we've got Dansby Arcea. So we're starting to look better. We're starting to look like our lineup that that we want. Uh, Austin Allen has been way better than we expected. I miss Vic the Stick too, Eric. I, this injury needs to end. We need Vic the Stick back. That's our one hole. You know, Trent. We got Trent Grisham in center field, and Grisham's done a pretty good job. Trent, don't call me Rich Grisham. Hitting two sixty eight, six bombs, twenty five ribbies. You know, he's, he's doing pretty good. He's getting the job done. 13 steals. Man. You know, but Allen, Allen hitting 312 in the catcher spot has been huge for us. Uh, Arcia is having another good year. Arcia quickly becoming our best player. Arcia, Yelich, and Harper, I mean, are just crushing it for us. Dansby's been good since he's been back. Hitting 277. That's good. Um, you know, VR has been good when he's been playing. He's playing first base for us right now. That's good. Grisham's been good. Harper has been trying to turn it around. Um, you know, the batting average is a bit down, but the power is up 25 home runs. So lineup wise, we're looking pretty good. Uh, again, so what it all this comes down to is this bench coach for staff is what are we doing all right, so first of all, you, long relief, you, stopper. Um, Acevedo, middle relief. So, I mean, again, Luis Ortiz has been nice. Like, thing, things are looking, but if we could make that one big acquisition... Our problem is, and here's the big problem, we don't really have a whole lot of money. <laughs> We're the Brewers. We have the 18th highest payroll. We do have some money available. Uh, if we wanted to try and acquire someone, we probably maybe could. Um, but we have to be mindful of acquiring someone for any more than one year. Um, you know, we have some guys who are going to do some arbitrational raises, especially Arcia. Uh, if Chris Sale does not opt out of his contract, he's going to get a nine million dollar raise. That's a problem. Um, you know, we have a lot of arbitration eligibles down here. So, and really, only Jonathan Viar's money is coming off the books. So, having said that, let's go out and see. So we want to find someone who's, you know, 20 to 40 and has one year left on his deal and is at least a three-star. Oh, no, I want it to be starters only, right?
I want to. Yeah, sorry. I should have put. Um, I should have put a stamp on a threshold because we want starters only. So let's go fifty-five stamina at least. That narrows it down. So these are all expiring people. Uh, it's going to show arbitration eligible people as well, which is fine. Uh, if we could get one of the, an arbitration eligible guy, great. Uh, so Robbie Ray is out there. Robbie Ray having a hell of a season for Arizona. Um. Yeah, Robbie Ray having a hell of a season. Uh, Luis Gahara and Tuki Toussaint. Jeff Samarja. Jose Quintana. Jacob Feria. Carrasco, who just started the All-Star game. Danny Salazar. Kyle Freeland. Antonio Senzatela. Michael Fulmer. Michael Fulmer? Not having a great time in Detroit. But how much of that is Detroit induced? Uh, no, he's just not pitching very well. Oh, he's got a really good K to walk, seventy to twenty nine K to walk ratio. That's pretty solid. Can't really complain about that. Um, so he's been pretty good. Um, colors, Shohei Otani. There you go. Let's get Shohei. Let's do it. Let's sign Otani. Uh, guy's crushing it right now. He's crushing it. Uh, how's his batting stats? He hitting the ball at all? 22 homers last year, nine this year. Damn. That's what we need. Walker Bueller, Dennis Satana, Vince Velasquez, Ramon Marquez. He's on my team already. Gazelman. Gazelman. James Tyon, Denilson Lamette, James Paxton. James Paxton making $17.8 million right now. Jack Flaherty, Alex Reyes, Blake Snell. So that's the thing. So, I mean, Stroman. What would it take to get Marcus Stroman? Okay, so let's one let's get out of the screen for one second and go look at standings. So let's look at some teams that are doing really poorly. Uh, so the Red Sox are bad, the Royals, the Tigers, the A's, the Mariners, the Rangers. The Marlins are atrocious, 29 and 70. My word. What are you guys doing? That's just pathetic. There we go. Giants, Rockies. Okay, let's go back. So, I mean, Stroman, it's a hard sell because the Jays are kind of in it. Paxton, while they're out of it, he wants a lot of money. Like like a lot of money. They want Kristen Yelich. Are you crazy? Are you insane? Are you not entertained? Funny, they don't have anywhere near the same ratings as my guy does. I trust you, Johnson. Yeah, see, we have to give up something of value. Right, Ginsburg, we just drafted, didn't we? That's right. Ethan Paul, I'd like to get rid of too. And then they want Chris Sale or Yelich. Wow, Chris Sale. Hey, there we go. We can rid, we can rid ourselves. Okay. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out, chat. He, he, okay, chat, 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 chat. Hear me out. We're fourth place in the division, okay? We're six games back, Okay. You guys follow me so far? Okay. We are three and a half games out of the wild card. We could. We could trade Chris Sale. Which means that doesn't give him the chance to exercise the option in his contract. Because if he exercises the option in his contract, we're on the hook. 
for $100 million over the next three years. He hasn't been very good. I mean, he's, he hasn't been terrible. But he hasn't been great. We could get James Paxton for the rest of the year. Basically, this would let us hit the reset button. This would let us hit the reset button on our rotation. Thoughts, opinions, concerns. Any any sort of feedback whatsoever. Oh my jeez, I'm way down low. So that's my thing, is this would let us hit the reset button on our Chris Sale signing, which I think is Paxton the absolute best player you can get for Sale, though. Good point. Good point. We don't know the answer to that. We could explore it. Because the thing is, then... Paxton is a free agent at the end of the year. So not only have we rid ourselves of Chris Sale's 25 million, which could become 34 million, we get Paxton's 17 million, which comes off the books at the end of the year. That's a good point. What could we get for Chris Sale? Probably not much. Again, that Chris Sale trade, you got to remember, we're throwing a piece in there. So they offer Carlos Carrasco straight up, David Peralta, Luis Gajara. What? Luis Gajara. AJ Pollock down there. Anthony Rizzo. Carlos Carrasco. Uh, Sandy Grandal, Will Smith. Fresh Prince Bel-Air. E.J. LeMayu. Ahmed Rosario. Carlos Santana. Huh, 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 huh. Oh, Josh Donaldson. That would have been so good, but he's hurt. Strain back. Let's do it. Donaldson, for more money. No, I'm kidding. And the thing with Paxton is we could re-sign him. So here's the real question. We don't want Carson Fulmer back. What about Luis Cajara? Again, our head scout overvalues him versus the OSA ratings. Only in movement and control by a few either way. He was nine, so he was ten and seven and one a few years ago. Nine and ten a couple years ago. Made us and he's seven five and seven this year. High strikeouts, relatively low whips previously. He's looked pretty good. Yeah, I like. I like Bueller, Bueller, but then, but then you guys are going to have to listen to me incessantly say Bueller. That's, that's the problem. You guys are going to listen to me incessantly say Bueller, 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 Bueller. I'm going to say that a lot. So just fair warning. If you tell me to trade for Walker Bueller, prepare for me to do that many, many times. Just saying. You did this to yourself, chat. Bueller's been, he's been struggling though. Look at those awful ERAs. He gets beat all over town. Ridiculously high strikeouts, but he just gives it too many hits. Anyone? Anyone? So, Bueller or Gahara? I tend to prefer Luis Gahara here. But I could be persuaded to go either way.
I could be persuaded to go either way here. I could be persuaded to go either way. Saving a good well that and that's the thing, right? Where you know what? We're gonna go with Luis Cajara. We're gonna trade him for Chris Sale straight up. My word. Who else they got? Who else you guys got? You guys got anybody else? Who do you guys got up in the up in the big leagues? Ozzy Albies, Akil Morris. They got Kimbrell now. Machado. My God, they're good. They got X. And they're loaded. Braves are loaded. They got nothing in the cupboard, though. Well, William Contreras. Can I get him? Can I give you a middling prospect, John Carmona? Let's do it. All right. Goodbye, Chris Sale. It was a horrendously failed experiment. Um, where's this guy going? Double A? What? Yeah, that's fine. But you're still going to double A. Uh, minor league system. Get the minor league set up. All right. Oh dear. Okay. Well, goodbye, Chris Sale. It was it was a slice. Um. But now we have lots of money. Our play, payroll is down to eighty million. So much extra money now, which is awesome. That's the thing. Again, the Chris Sale thing, failed experiment probably shouldn't ever do that again we'll make that same mistake we'll probably sign Paxton to a massive deal in the offseason now when he hits free agency Rem note to self hey Google remind me to overpay for James Paxton when the offseason rolls around oh it wants me to set up a time thank you Google <laughs> also to any of you whose Google's just went off my bad hopefully you're all watching with headphones if not, that's just that's just that's rough. All right, as bench coach for staff, Marquez Gahara. Gahara is going to slot in the two hole. Hater's going to be the stopper. La uh, little relief. There we go. Okay. Now, all right. Is there anyone else that we, while we're here? Um, anyone else we want to try to give the old we, we, well okay need two more Luises or Luises in that rotation ideally yeah I feel like at the moment we're a little short we have <laughs> uh, I'm building a rotation solidly anchored around Luises We'll see if we can get Luis Castillo in the offseason, perhaps. Um, anybody who's who's popular locally? Yelich Harper, extremely popular. Local popularity, some, some pretty good, some pretty good guys here. All right, let's see. Luis's squad, exactly. That's what we're all about here. All right, we should. We're definitely going to shop. Okay, first of all, Eric Thames. Like, literally, I would take a hockey puck. And it's a baseball team. I would take a hockey puck if somebody offered me a for Eric Thames right now. What the hell were we thinking when we acquired this bum? Wow. Thanks, but no thanks. And then Jonathan Vieira, who currently is critical to our operation, but... As an expiring contract, 
if somebody wanted to offer me, oh yes, we can't. Um, we got to play. We got to finish today. Oh, Luis, no. Luis, no. Okay. We're going to call Hunter Harvey up. We're going to go to our pitch and stab. We're going to put Hunter Harvey. He's going to go into the bullpen. Uh, middle relief. And we're going to get Lucas Sims. Lucas Sims is moving into the rotation. All right, uh, let's go player. No, no player list. Uh, VR. I just want to see. I want to see if anybody will offer me something for him. Where he's an expiring contract, and honestly, probably very, very limited chance we're going to bring him back. And... The offers are not really good. We'll hang on to him. We'll let him go. All right. Wow. So our pitching staff looking weak. Weak. As the cool kids say, weak. Words I can't say. But that's fine. Trying to push him. All right, let's see. Let's get through. Let's get through a week. See if we can turn this thing. See if we can turn this tugboat around. Trade proposal. Who? Who? Luis Cajara. We just got him. He's hurt. Only up for a couple days. Brian Cashman wants to send me Sonny Gray. Just made the All Star team. Sonny Gray. Brian Blanton. Randy LeBlanc. For Christian Yelich. Hard pass. No offense. None taken, I hope. It's really not what we're looking for, Brian Cashman. Look at that. Erman Marquez. Wow. Okay, so this is the fourth year of this franchise. No, third year of this franchise. We have not yet... Yeah, exactly. Um, we have not yet won a pitcher of the month or a batter of the month. We win them in the same month. What a squad. The dream team. Let's see the player development update. Tiago Vieira, moving on up. Lucas Sims, moving on up. Armand Marquez, moving on up. Hunter Harvey, eh. Corey Ray, is getting, he's been hitting the gym. Been hitting the gym a little bit. Getting warmed up. Getting ready to come back. Even Paul. Even Paul starting to turn things around a little bit. We got some, we got, this is a really, really good, it's a really good um, player development update right now. William Contreras took a bump to his contact. His eye rating is overall and his potential. Lars Newtbar, while his potential contact within his eye goes up and his defense uh, goes up as well. Any player, chance to in. Harold Chirino uh, has the stuff going up. All right, that's a pretty good update. How do I get... Where Where? Where my Discord at? Let's move this over here. Okay, chat, come on. Here we go, here we go. All right. Oh, team home screen. Well, we're after the trade deadline now. So no more uh, wheeling and dealing. Now we just need the team to play well. Or, 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 or have one of our bullpen guys blow his arm out and be out for life. That too. Come on, man. Phil Bickford. Back up there, Phil. Philly Bix is back. Phil Bix back. Back again. Bickford's back. Tell a friend. Bickford's back. Bickford's back. In the bullpen, Bickford's back. Because of everyone being hurt. Do, do, do. 
Alrighty then. Lost my marbles, chat. It's gonna happen. I notice we're on a bit of a interested in Aaron Nola. No. Why is he on the is he on the is he on the hot waivers? Is he on the hot waivers right now? Is he on the hot waivers? Nah. What's he up to? It's looking good. Is he currently on waivers, though, is my question. Uh, transactions, waiver wire, nothing good there. Anyone, any good free agents available? What's going on the old FA pool? Nothing. Bunch of bums. We're uh, 56 and, oh, we're 57 and 50. We're just flying right now, chat. Good things are happening. Will it last? Or is this the countdown to Bryce Harper getting injured? Oh, Garrett Hampson got hurt. Uh, I think he was up for six weeks. Uh, I don't know who we have left to bring up. Crowell? What's Crowell doing down on the PCL? Hit 286. Hit 329. Like, dude's just raking this season. Chris Voogd. He only hit 220 in the big club. Uh, what do, what can we use? We have five outfielders, so we definitely need an infielder. Uh, I hate to call Kyle Crowell up and then sit him on the bench, though. But he's doing really... I mean, he's he's at the point where he's over... Like, he's above and beyond what, what should be going on down there, so... We'll keep it going. We'll keep it going the last few minutes of the stream here. See where we get to. Obviously, we're not going to finish out the season today. But, guys, things are looking good. We're up to 59, 60, and 52 now. Currently in the second wildcard spot. All we needed to do was trade away Chris Sale. That's pretty much it. Our team, power-hitting monsters. Orlando Arcia, 24 home runs. Harper, 31 home runs. Yelich, 16 home runs. Riley, 13 home runs. VR, 14 home runs. We're crushing the ball. Erman Marquez, diagnosis pending. He's out. What happened to him? We'll never know. That's not good. I'm extremely concerned that Erman, German, Erman Marquez may be out for life. Luis Ortiz back in three weeks. Corey Ray only open another six days. It's going to actually create some problems for us. See the trade proposal? Dallas Koikel for Austin Riley? What? Dallas Koikel for Austin Riley. It's an interesting trade. It's an interesting trade, and what a perfect place to leave a trade stream cliffhanger. Ooh. What are we going to do about this Dallas Coikel for Austin Riley trade? You'll have to tune in next Monday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time for the continuation of our Milwaukee Brewers franchise here on Twitch.tv slash OTP Developments. Like I said earlier, guys, make sure you guys follow that channel. Hit that follow button as hard as you can up at the top of the screen. TJ will be here in just a few short moments at the continuation of his Angels franchise. Things are looking up for him. I, I think he's about to turn the corner, chat. I think. Exactly. Pro streaming strats confirmed. Cliffhanger. Uh, tune in next week for the culmination of this cliffhanger and a really clickbait title 
Um, as always, I have been Chris Jardine, a.k.a. Snaggle J, Associate Community Manager for Out of the Park Baseball. And until next time, keep swinging for the fences. <laughs>